What's up you guys, Mike Slugs Daily here on the same day as my last video I was going to change my t-shirt but I thought I'd not be so pathetic and this is the operation room Tell me about the colour I'll explain the colour of the room like so like grim we, we put some wallpaper and make it look you know, a bit nicer but the wallpaper is this sort of like shitty, not wallpaper, the paint is this sort of shitty depressive colour because it's just another start again, another story for another day. But one of my best friends, he had this room, I let it to him. Let's turn this music off before I get copyrighted. He had this room, and uh, yeah, long story short, he did this. He turned into a tranny. Which I, I never had any problems with. I never had any problems with. But yeah, he did this. And then he shortly moved out. Alright, so this is the operation room. This is the operation room. So what have I been doing? Where have I been? I got a job in a timber yard, which was very good. I enjoyed it a lot. They were nice. It was a nice place to be. I was losing weight, getting in, in good shape. But due to very uh like I'm not gonna go into it in too much detail, maybe we'll save that for another day. They're just um, very unprofessional in the way things are conducted do you know and then over the top when they don't need to be and my I'll, I'll do a video on that one day I'm not going to go into too much detail but I left that job anyway and luckily I've got a very good supportive mother who's got a job in the NHS so she gets good money and she's able to she's, when I told her what's happening at work she said, you know what, you don't you don't need or deserve that shit. So I've got a plan. She's been trying to set a business up for the last, I don't know, a little bit of time. And she said, you can do that. I've got enough faith in this product, what we're making, and you might as well make them, you know? So here we are. Um, so like two or three weeks later since I've left my job, I've turned the spare room into a little factory. Um, I feel like a little bit of a Heisenberg if I'm honest. Making all sorts of stuff out of different powders and oh, you know. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've been making. Now this is just a, a brief overview. These are bath bombs um, I believe and these are more bath bombs. We're going to pop some of these out now in a second. That there is a cloud bath bomb and when you place that in water it's got seven different colours in it and you get a nice rainbow effect. So we've just started, this is this is not what entirely what we've been making because a lot of it's packaged, ready to go. There's some wax, melt, wax melts I made, I got wrong. So this is just like our sort of scrap pile at the minute, just bits and bobs in there. Um, we've got loads of moulds, that's another scrap pile of bath bombs which I'm probably just going to end up giving away at car boots so we've been making so far, she's been teaching me so we've made wax melts I made these show you them under the light you see them oh they smell so nice Anyway, this is the kind of, a lot of it's downstairs you see, because we've got shelves downstairs, so, but this, I'm going to put a few things on the table, we'll get, we'll pop a couple of these bath bombs out, and we'll have a look and see what they look like, because, I don't know what they look like entirely yet, because, she bollocked me today, because we've made a range, a certain range, set colours, set smells, they should look the same, and I didn't get that memo entirely or it didn't sink in or, and I've made a load of bath bombs today with the wrong colours, the wrong smell, uh, the smell with the wrong colours so uh, yeah so anyways, anyways let's have a look at these okay ladies and gents so 
There you go. Tell you what, this tripod's on its last legs. It's absolutely crap. Look at it. Okay, so let's have a look. Usually we pop these out upside down, but for the camera. Look at that, I made that myself today. I'm quite proud of it. And it's a bath bomb. Try another one, because they should all be slightly different. And there's a lot that goes into this, because you have to do far more than just making it. You have to write down everything that goes into it, write recipes, get them registered, get them licensed. You know, we've got these wax melts. How good do they look? So, you know, you put that there, that there. We're going to get some stickers to put on there. We've got a company name, but I can't say that at the minute. In a little posting box. And they're just going to be like £2.50 and they smell so nice. What do you get? Um, let's check out these. I was going for more. Some days I make male ones and some days I make female ones. Today was more of a female day. So these are like pink and yellow. They smell amazing. I made these the other day. I've got about 30 odd bags. And we call it unicorn poo. So um, it's basically like a bath bomb minus a few ingredients. And check this out. This is a bigger box of bath bombs. Can you see that? Yeah. Purple and blue. Bring this to the camera so you can have a proper look. And it's just, I honestly can't tell you how nice they smell. Um, absolutely beautiful. And this is what it uh, looks like I might be doing for the foreseeable future. Which I'm quite happy about after my last job to be honest. Because it was really hard. And I just didn't get paid enough for what I did. So these are like, um, the smell I would have to say is a copy of um, Lush. And it's apparently their, their best seller. Ice Pixie um, is, I don't know if that's Lush's name or the name we're giving it. But basically, we can, we can use it because, well, we give it a different name. And it's not made by Lush. It's made by, um, I don't know. It's made by someone you make smells and things so it's just like a replica so it's obviously made to intimidate intimidate it's obviously made to the smell of ice pixie is made to intimidate people no it's not it smells absolutely fucking beautiful actually um this tripod's on its ass by the way so yeah um we've got different color bath bombs wax melts i'll show you some wax melts now i got told today i'm not really supposed to put them in a bag so we've got the ones I just showed you, with different colours. They're blue and pink. Because we are looking to set up a charity to donate some money to a charity. So we're making... I'll just get this strap out of the way. Oh God. I need a new tripod. My good tripod, I've lost a bit that attaches to the camera so I've got this, this crap on. So we are... You can't really see them. I just... Each batch, put in a bag. These are the best. This is my favourite smell so far. We've ordered some new scents today. You can't really see them. But they're caught, there's a smell called Kismet. I don't know if this is a, an aftershave or something, but it's, oh, it's phenomenal. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my setup of my little factory. It's not all tidy because we've just got it together. We've been working on it, practicing different formulas and recipes. And just finding where things are going to go at the minute. So it's a little bit all over the place. But we're getting there. We're getting there. You know, slowly. Here we have. This be known. Minus all these. Is the sort of packing area. Sorry for this. The floor's a mess. Because there's all sorts of bits of paper and things. Don't worry. That's all the cardboard boxes we've got for these. Uh, wax, wax melts. We've got loads of. Do you know what? I'm going to. I think no, I'll keep it on the tripod. So we've got the the packing station, which is just a decorating table. I've propped it up underneath, so 
Look how professional this is. Hey, my white jacket. I love that jacket actually. It's my favourite jacket. You can tell how much time I spend in it. Look how professional this is. Roll the paper off. And then under here, there's like a paper cutter with a big knife sort of thing you pull down. So get that out of the way. And here we have, it's not really, well it's about that time to be honest, but at night time. We've got like mixing bowls, we've got all sorts of different bags. Christmas bags with snowmen on, um, the unicorn poo bags, and we've got different bags. We've got wax melt, like, what is it, holders and things. This is all sorts of different moulds. We've got one full of, oh, it's this one, full of botanicals, you know, like wildflower seeds. Um, yeah, different flowers basically to put in things. This has just arrived today and that is 25 kilos of Himalayan red salt which is going to get turned into something called well, wax melt sizzlers or something like that. I've got a bag of just sort of like special uh, moulds as you can see. This mould here looks a bit stupid but what it does do is create whatever you put in the mould you get a cupcake basically the size of your head so um, that's pretty cool you can make them look real fancy and you know they go for like good money as well because they're massive no one else does them um, yeah so this is sort of like the curing where everything's drying or you know just waiting to be seen to kind of thing um, yeah we've got the window obviously yeah. We've got drawers all labelled up, we've got different things we need, like fancy like glitters and do you know like all sorts of different colours and smells. Got bits of glitter. Obviously you can only use certain things with certain things, and then we've got another drawer. We've got a little burner for the um wax. Microwave comes in handy every now and again. Um we've not used the kettle yet. So, and then underneath is where I'm just currently working now is we've got like sort of citric acid and all our powders and things. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm up to. I've been doing this now. It's my second day officially working for myself. Um, we've not sold the thing yet, just so you know. But regarding... The, the, oh my god, the scope and potential is is phenomenal, to be honest. My camera skill, a lot better than my camera skills right now. Uh, it is late, I've been up early, and you know. So, yeah, this is my future. Making bath rams, all the things I've listed before, I'm not saying them all again. But um, it's quite exciting, to be honest, and it's nice work, it's rewarding. It smells lovely and I couldn't ask for more to be honest. Check these soaps out. I've got this one which uh, let's get it under a light. Doesn't look amazing. That's the end piece I think. Let's get a middle piece. It's got far more, a lot of texture in it. Oh here we go this is a nicer piece. Let's get the light. Oh look at that. It's just absolutely Stunning and it's my favourite personal one And it smells of that kismet um, What I showed you before But when you use this in the bath it gets so I think the words lathery I wouldn't say foamy it's like thick, you know like lather what you get off things But that that is this that is the bomb I've got a, oh, I made a girly one today She's we're trying to make a um, sort of like a trademark but It's not come out too well it's come out very nice though. It's still beautiful soap. Um, yeah, it's almost see-through. We're trying to make it so it's got like nice little clouds in it. Like uh, it just smells nice and perfumey. She made this, so I'm not sure what flavour it is or smell, but uh, yeah, it's almost translucent soap. So it's all getting processed slowly and curing and this, that, and the other. 
But now it's my job to, tonight to make as many. We've made some inserts for the clouds I just showed you. That was the second one we've made. The first one we te uh, tested in the bath, which uh, I'm going to have to show you on a video. We'll have to do that now in a minute with this one, but she'll probably kill me for wasting everything. But you guys see how cool it is. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping it takes off some degree. We've costed everything. We're very competitive in price with other people selling um, because we're making it all ourselves. We have no particular overheads. Um, we've registered everything. We're just about to get a website uh, over the next month, I should imagine. We've got a name which we both agree on, which uh, I can't wait to tell you because it's just the best. It's not like a snazzy name. It's very, very, very good. It's uh, so good, actually. I can't tell you at the minute. But that's my little operation. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Well... I'll keep you going actually. I'm going to be doing some bits and bobs so I can show you along the way. I definitely need a new camera at some point because this doesn't have a wild angle lens. I'm holding this like a full arm's length on a tripod and you can still barely just see me. My beautiful mug. Right, so anyways, I'm going to get cracking in case I don't do any more vlog uh, videoing. Boom.